Uh, greetings, everybody. How many of you have heard me say that I can't stand static and it gets on my nerves? Problem solved. It's the lack of humidity in the winter that causes the problem. So, I went out and picked up that. Works pretty good. So this is the time of year when I start preparing for, well, seven days a week, 10 to 14 hours a day down here. I enjoy what I do, not complaining one bit, building up all my pieces, parts, getting them pre-cut, pre-drilled, and doing everything I got to do to build up my stockpile of inventory of cut pieces. And uh, I think I showed you guys this newest little addition. So I'm going to hook up the camera on the tripod and show you just how well it works because I think it's pretty sweet I'm gonna pick up let's see one two maybe three more casters I mean I don't really need them close together back here because it's the beginning of the cut it's down here because the polycarbonate when it gets just in the center of these two it kinda wants to dip down a little bit not bad but they're spaced apart just enough where it wants to start to dip each time so having them having them close together is kind of vital but uh, I could get away with just one more down on the end really but let's see how this thing works shall we well the first thing I want to do is So this is the whole four foot width of a full sheet. So running that thing alone, it's uh, yeah, it can't be done too easily without something to assist, and that's why I built that um, per the suggestion of Wayne, owner of Railroad Toy and Hobby. And boy, I'll tell you what, it's uh, it saved me a lot of money, and it works like a charm and I've gotten some of the best cuts ever out of using this method I've always had somebody to come and help guide it but they you know they put a little bit too much pressure towards the end of the cut and it, zip, it gets into the the end of the cut and then it messes up all the other cuts after the fact you can only turn it once once a mistake is made and then if another mistakes made you're done so now I can do it by myself and I'm getting precision cuts so it works good whoops alright we're ready if you see my left hand jump it's because I got a shock that sucks
We can look right across the top of them and they are nice and flush. Perfect. That's what I want to see. So, that's how it works. I like it. Thank you, Wayne, for the idea. Save me, pff, I don't know, one of them roller conveyors probably would have cost me uh, the six foot section, probably a good 400, maybe more. And these casters were $2.99 a piece. I bought more roller stands and just removed the rollers. I can't remember what they were. Um, I bought, what was it, 11 casters to begin with and the two roller stands and it was like 70 some odd dollars and then I went and I got more casters and put them on so I mean we're talking by the time I get the other ones and put them on there it's less than maybe 130 so that's not bad not bad at all so thank you all for watching if you want to like go ahead and like if you want to share please do and if you want to subscribe please do that too take care everybody